Exactly one month away from the 2020 tax deadline and there are some changes this year because of the pandemic and the American Rescue Plan just signed into law last week and we're joined this evening by CPA and tax expert Jeff Harlow. Jeff also the outgoing chairperson of the Illinois CPA Society. Um, you know, I, I want to keep us out of the weeds because the weeds can get pretty long when we're talking about tax <laughs> laws, but there's some important things that we need to know where stimulus money is concerned. So what do you want us to all come away with tonight where that's concerned? Well, Ray, the big thing to be aware of as far as your 2020 tax return is know whether or not you're going to be eligible for the new stimulus based on your 2020 uh, tax information. Uh, you may be better off holding off filing your 2020 tax return if you b get a bigger stimulus payment based on your 2019 tax return. And the, the credit itself, uh, not necessarily something that you're supposed to get taxed on, but if you got, um, you know, unemployment um, money, that does get taxed, right? Yeah, unemployment uh, compensation is subject to tax, but there was a great provision uh, included in the American Rescue Plan uh, Act. And it basically, if your income is below $150,000, that's married, single, head of household, whatever, you can exclude up to $10,200 of that unemployment from tax. And if you're a married couple, each of you can exclude up to 10200 from tax. And I know in the last few years, a lot of deductions that we would count on when we would go to, uh, you know, to the to the tax filing service, uh, whether it's professional or someone that you know and trust to do it for you. Uh, we lost a lot of those deductions here. What should we keep in mind uh, in this new tax season? Well, take advantage of the deductions you can. You know, you're absolutely right. We lost several categories of deductions back in the 2017 bill. A lot of people that have been working from home have been very upset to find out they don't qualify for a home office deduction. But track things. If you take the standard deduction, you can claim a $300 charitable contribution deduction that never used to be in the law. One other thing, if I may, if you did not receive a, either one of the first two rounds of stimulus payment because your income was too, still, uh, was too high, but in 20 it's less, you can claim a recovery rebate credit on your 2020 tax return. I remember you, when we talked about the deductions, you know, if home office deductions, you would kind of calculate the square footage of your house uh, and use that. That is wiped out here. But what if you're somebody who's self-employed? Uh, doesn't that put you in a different category that would allow you that deduction? Or am I reading that wrong? No, you're reading that exactly right. It's one of those situations where the law works in mysterious ways. And the way in which one claims the deduction for a home office if you're self-employed is different than for an employee, and it's still allowed if you're self-employed. So if you're working remotely at home, definitely try to take advantage of it if you're self-employed. Jeff, we've got a lot of teachers that are watching right now, and they have been working from home. What do they need to know uh, about deductions that will uh, you know, make their, their liability go down? Well, one thing for teachers, you know, they've been able to claim a two, up to $250 deduction for unreimbursed classroom supplies. That was expanded in 2020 to include uh, PPE. So to the extent that they're buying equipment, uh, disinfectant for their classroom, they can deduct that as well. Uh, are you ready for this tax season here? I, I know a lot of people are, you know, not going to be able to go visit their tax repair. They're going to be doing everything from home. Any parting thoughts there? You know, it's totally different. Uh, different preparers prefer handling things in different ways. Talk to the person that you're working with. I know for the uh, mainstream preparers like Block, they've gone virtual in a big, big way. Uh, so I, I think the people that do taxes are uh, adjusting quite nicely to this new environment. Just have a conversation with the people you work with. Jeff Harlow, thanks for your thoughts and expertise. We appreciate it very much. Thanks, Ray. All right, take mm. care.